Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my E36 drift car build. Gonna get cracking on the head of our M50. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we're just gonna get cracking on the head now. So we've actually just got to remove the valves. So we've just got this special tool here. It's uh, 3D printed. So um, it'll basically be able to slide on the studs for the cam caps there. You can see it just slides down onto the valves like so. Pop the bolts on. And just slowly do up these bolts. Want to be doing them even so it pushes the valves down even. Now I'll try to get a good view of this, but we're just going to flip the head over. You can see it's pushing the valves out, so we'll just get the hammer and we'll just oh, here we go that way. hit them back through. Two hours later. Use a pick to get the keepers off. We'll just come with a magnet and we'll fish them out. Now we'll just loosen this. Remove these two spaces. Sweet. And there's the valve springs, and we're just going to push the valves out the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and use this tool on the rest of the head and take out all the valves in the head. Turns out it's actually really hard to get these seals out. They're really stuck in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go down for a quick trip to Super Cheap, see if we can get some better pliers for the job and I'll take you along for the ride.
All right, let's give it a go with these bad boys. Should be a lot easier. Two hours later. There we go. So just done the intake valve stem seals. You can see in here, they're all out. That's them there. Fortunately, the pliers that we bought aren't really the best. The tip isn't angled enough and it's not small enough to be able to get in there. It's pretty tight. Um, probably want to use uh, circular ring nose pliers, I believe they're called. Um, otherwise, I have been using the circlet pliers to grab it there, but they just don't have enough grip to be able to grab it without it sliding off. The main issue is you do end up crushing them, so you can see this one's pretty cooked, and basically if you try to grip it more, it just grips the valve more and then it's just harder to pull out. We'll crack on, we'll try the exhaust valves now. All right, so the valve stem seals are all out. The head's basically stripped down. Ready for our new valve stem seals. Honestly, it was a really hard job. Um, basically, if you want my tip, is basically just wiggle them side to side, then spin them about a quarter of a turn or half a turn, then try the same thing. Eventually, you'll develop enough play to wiggle them out and pull them out probably worth just investing in the tool there's a special tool or like ring nose pliers like I mentioned before because um, yeah it's a bit of a pain in the ass <laughs> we've got all the valves lined up here quick little tip is we've just labeled everything from 12 to 1 we've got the exhaust side here and the intake side just so we don't get everything mixed up and um, so yeah good to go so we're just gonna move on to lapping the valves now Basically, all we have to do is sort of sand down with basically liquid sandpaper, the little seat on the edge there. Um, I'll sh throw up a photo because it's not focusing properly, but essentially um, you're just sanding that down as well as the seat, so that makes a better seal and obviously makes the engine a little bit more efficient. We've just got our compound here. We're just gonna chuck that on the valve. Also apply it to the inside of the seat. And we'll just chuck the valve in the head. Just gonna get the drill attached to the valve. Just gonna slowly turn it and put some pressure up on the valve seat. See the valve is slightly ground down there and you can see the seat is a lot more prominent. Not sure if it's coming up, but I'll chuck a photo on the screen. Sweet, we'll get cracking and do the rest of them.
just on the exhaust side you can see the valve seats are a lot cleaner and you can actually see the silver part being where it contacts the valve here's the valve for reference you can clearly see where the seat is now move on to the intake side now Alright, so we're now ready to start to reassemble the head. So what we do is we'll just give everything a blow and we'll replace the valve stem seals. Then we'll put the valves in and do the opposite process using that compressor to compress the valve springs and put the keepers back on. So we'll crack on. So we're now going to install the new valve stem seals. I'm just going to go with a lint-free cloth and just wipe the uh, valve stem and just make sure it's all free of any debris. Make sure it's going to the new seal is going to go on nice and easy. Good little trick is just with the valve stem seals to just get a 10 mil socket. And what that's going to do is going to hold the edge of the seal. Um, you're not going to be grabbing the rubber part, so you can actually push it in without damaging it. It's going to go in nice and easy. So we're now just going to do what we did in reverse. We're going to use this tool to compress uh, four valve springs at a time, put the valves in, um, and then we'll put the keepers back onto the valves. a good little trick to clean out the valve guides I just put a bit of oil or WD-40 on the actual valve itself I'll put it through the other way and get a uh, lint free cloth and just wipe that until it comes out clean do that a few times um, I just find there's a lot of stuff in the valve guides and usually after that goes through a few times put a bit of oil in and then it'll go through uh, no worries so we'll just keep going on the intake side. We're now just gonna get cracking on the exhaust side, so exactly the same as the intake side. have it the valve springs are back in the head 
a little bit tricky with the retainers. They can be a bit of a pain to get on. Um, usually what I find is I've just magnetized a small screwdriver. I'll probably just chuck up a photo. Um, and I just use that on the upper edge of the valve keeper. That way I can sort of slide it in. And then I just use a bit of a crooked pick um, just to help it there. Obviously the pick is, isn't magnetized, so sometimes when you get off the screwdriver you just use the pick. Um, and that makes it a lot easier. Um, just wanted to shout out the tool that we use, a 3D printed tool. Um, I'll chuck a link, it's um, on, from Thingiverse. Um, it's a great tool, it does four valves at once, which is a lot quicker. And you have to do three passes to do the intake side and, and the exhaust side. Um, so it's a lot quicker than doing it where it's only two at, two at a time. That's all we've got time for in this episode. Uh, next episode, we're gonna be putting the bottom end together and then we'll chuck the head on and get it ready to get back into the car. Um, if you found this entertaining or if you got anything out of this or any tips, please chuck me a like, chuck me a sub, really helps the channel a lot. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.